How you guys doing? It's the Yana Pops here. And as you can see, we're outside. And we're gonna go to CQ, because we haven't been there in months. I hope Alan has something new for us, something new in the store. And we might show you around Toronto, you know? Are we there? Uh, we'll show you around the store as well. That's gonna be cool. But yeah. All right, see you guys later. For the net flanders because that's the only one we need. That's the only one we need to complete my fence and But it doesn't look like they have net flanders, which sucks. I don't think they have anything quite new, to be honest with you. Oh, EV Games is right next door, so we might check on EV Games. It won't have net flanders because net flanders is uh, a hot topic exclusive, but we might see something over there. Anything. They do have the dog train, which is really cool. A lot of people need that to complete the set because that's the front of the train. But So we're outside of Planet X and they do quite a bit of stuff over here, like really nice stuff. But this is one that I wouldn't actually see King for for a while. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think I'm gonna pick that one up, but that's such a cool car. And something else I wanna show you guys. It's $69.99. Something else that I kind of thought it was pretty cool is the Speed Racer car downstairs. A lot of people like that Speed Racer car. McDonald's pop, that's really cool. You already have that one. Yeah, but it's just nice.
to a lot of stores today to browse around mainly but we went early in the morning because not a lot of people like getting up early in the morning so we try to go uh, early in the morning we thought that might be safest you know to head out we finally are done our lockdown so we finally can go out but there's TDC closure yeah like, all the way downtown uh, so we had to take the bus all the way down yeah, that sucked that we have to take the bus, um, but you know, we went early trying to avoid any type of rush hour and we did miss a lot of that because on our way back home a lot of people were already going back to the mall and we were just leaving the mall, right? So yeah, There was like long lineups in the mall, yeah. and then long lineups on the TDC, and then long lineups everywhere, like there were like a lot of people. Yeah, so if we ever go out again to uh, CQ. So C-Cube is where we like to go all the time. Uh, so if you're in Toronto and you want some cool pops, go to C-Cube. Thank you, Alan. We love this dude. He always has such great pops and I always have such a fun time when we go over. There was like a lot. We spent in that store probably like 40 to an hour. 40 to an hour and we just bought two pops. That's it. Can you we believe were that? stuck right there in the Disney animation area and then there was like a lot and it was just uh, overwhelming yeah it was overwhelming but we got to pop so we might go back again next week we'll see and we'll get one maybe one more pop but let me show you guys what we got because i don't think it was but a you video. know what's so weird hmm. we spent so much time deciding of what to buy in the animation line but then later on we're like no, we're just gonna pick something else. Yeah, and then we these, were. <laughs> we we just decided this for a minute, and then we bought it. Put yeah, it. we were in the animation <laughs> line and the Disney line for so long, cause that's what I collect. I love the Disney line, and I love the animation line, just any type of characters. And they did have a few. We spent so much time trying to figure out what we wanted, what I wanted in the collection, and last minute I was like, you know what? Nah, we're going to the horror section, right? And we just took our way all the way to the horror section. Because I remembered that I'm collecting a line that he's helping me collect slowly. And I remember he had these pops there. So I decided to pick them instead of any of the animation lines. So, I'm going to show you guys what we got. Number one, we got Dracula. So this is from the monster line. The very, very old monster line. And these, all these pops are vaulted. So, like I said, I picked up some of the other monsters from him. He still has a few that I'm gonna pick up later. And uh, maybe later, then I'll show you guys the, my full collection of the monster line. But these are very old school monsters. And this is Dracula. He's vaulted, uh, very hard to find. He's around the $70 range or something like that? Something like that. Something like that. So they're quite in the expensive side, to be honest with you. And I'm slowly collecting this line, that's why I, I remember he had them, so I was like, you know what, forget animation, forget Disney, we're gonna go into the horror side. And we picked Dracula. And we also got, dun dun, the mummy, the mummy. So this is the mummy, another one we picked up from the monster line. And he has a few more that we're gonna go back later on and pick up from him. I already told him I was gonna get him from him, so, I hope he kind of saves them for me apart, but the monster line, such a cool line. Like I said, I think all of these pops, all of them actually, to be honest with you, I think all of them are vaulted. They don't make them anymore. So they, these pops are really hard to come by. And the fact that he had them is perfect. He usually has his own protectors, like all his pops have protectors and they're amazing, right? Uh, these protectors are really beat up, but I have my own. Uh, that I buy specifically just because I have my own protectors. Yeah, he so, was so nice. He wanted yeah. to change the protectors for us, but he just decided to say no because he has his own protectors yeah. that he would just exchange it to, so that's going to be just a waste. This dude, he, he's a collector himself. He has his own store with his buddy, and they're collectors, you know? Like, he has a lot of stuff coming in, some of the craziest stuff. For you guys that are in the United States, it might be common to go to a Target or somewhere over there and get a pop, but here in Canada, we don't get Funko Shop 
exclusive. We don't get Target exclusive. We don't get Walmart exclusives. Uh, so it's really hard for us to pick certain pops up. And this guy, he he he's got our backs. You know, like this guy has them all. Uh, we saw Mr. Potato Head from like Target. Also Garfield from Target. He has some Cheeto he also has boxes. Like, um, lunch box. Box lunch. Uh, Bucks Lunch exclusive, Entertainment Earth, like this guy gets everything and anytime I ask him Hey, man, can you pick up this for me? He uh, he gets on it. So it's amazing Just because he deserves it. I love this store. I always go to it and if you're in Toronto, highly recommend this store It's so funny because every time he goes there, he always says that he's picking up all the bolted ones and he's already <laughs> like um what do you call that? Like, taking out his shelves? Yeah, I always go there and I go crazy. I literally buy quite a bit of pops. And the dude actually carries a lot of vaulted stuff, right? And I pick up that up. So he'll he'll be like, hey, that's a vaulted one. Hey, this is a vaulted one. Hey, this is vaulted. He, every time I go there, he's like, you're picking a vaulted pop, right? So he knows uh, that if I like a pop, I get it no matter what, to be honest with you. So it's not a surprise when I bring eight pops to the counter, nine pops. Like he's already like, okay, he's coming in. Get <laughs> Move everything aside. We're going to set up a line here, right? And you know what else? He gives discounts. And he gives me discounts. I think he gives every. He's a really nice dude. Like, I think he knows that, like I said, he's a collector himself. So he knows how much a pop could mean to a collector. So he doesn't price them up crazy, you know? He does price them up a bit, but it's because, you know, it's a business, you know? It's a small shop, he has to make his money and he has to go through it. But it's nothing ridiculous like people do on eBay or anything, it's very, very uh, uh, affordable, very, very, how do you say that? Reasonable. It's reasonable, yeah, 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 that's the word, reasonable. He's a really reasonable uh, person and uh, if you ask him, hey man, can you can you do this much for this pop, right? Like if you're reasonable with him as well and he knows you, you're a customer, uh, he's more than, than welcome to uh, uh, make a deal with you or, you know, if you buy a lot, he'll, he'll sweeten the deal if you could say, but uh, really nice guy. But this is not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored, just... no nothing. I don't want you guys to go up to that <laughs> store and be like, hey, I hear you guys is discount. No, nothing like that. It's just that, uh, like I said, he's a collector. He knows how much pops mean to people, how much he collects. So he's just doing it from the kindness of his heart. So don't don't expect him to make you a deal. Don't expect him to go over his will. Just, he's just a really nice guy. And you know, if it does and, happen, be thankful. Yeah, and we're here to support a local store. And we're here to support a local store. I'm buying the store. That's what I'm doing. Because <laughs> every time I go, woo, 10 pops at a time. And you know what else? Go ahead. I think we should be excited for next month. At least. Yes. Because of the shipping, remember that he was talking about? Yeah, so later on, maybe when this video comes out, uh, he's gonna have a whole bunch of inventory. Like I said, we're from Canada, so for him to order some of the stuff that he does from the States, and especially now that the borders are closed, so everything's like getting delayed or it's getting like extra checked or on hold or whatever it is, he, he told us that he there's already a lot of pops there right that he's waiting it's just that the border doesn't let him pass them right but eventually now with everything opening back here in canada they're gonna start slowly bringing all the inventory so if you guys saw any pops that you guys like there oh man he's gonna have a crazy amount and sometimes he does carry a few grails and it's just like today we saw jafar right like that one is a crazy grail uh, I didn't want to pull the trigger on it because I was like, it's too expensive, but I got these and I was like, damn. <laughs> these two were more <laughs> expensive. They're like more yeah. expensive than Jafar, right, with these together, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you, you, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, and it didn't pull the trigger on Jafar, but that's okay. But like I said, uh, he carries a lot of stuff, right, so... Again, if you're in Toronto, go check him out. He's such a nice dude. Support a local business. He just opened in Toronto, like uh, from October. October. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I October. Because he was in a different part of Canada, and right now he just opened the store in uh, 
Downtown. Downtown, because wherever he was, I can't remember where he was before, but wherever he was, the mall closed down or something like that, like something happened. So he decided to buy a, a little store, a little area in Toronto, and that, now that that's his new location, and that's even better for us, because it's, it's not close. It's accessible to buses and transit trains. Yeah, so it's not close to us, but we take the trip there, you know, get away for a bit. It's an awesome, it's an awesome store that I really, really enjoy. As soon as he opened, I, I love everything that he has. And like I said, and of very course, reasonable. it's his first store to go to after lockdown. After lockdown, this is my first start to go. Uh, that's a lie because we hit Hot Topic, EB Games before that. But we were what? heading there, and EB Games and Hot Topic happened to be on the way. Yeah, and it was in the <laughs> mall. And remember, there was no lineup before we went there, so we had to yeah. hit it first. Because if we were to hit it after, you have seen that there were already like a lot. There a was people. a lot of people. So. And then, uh, yeah, lineups were long. Yeah, but it's okay. Good decision, though. But we didn't pick up anything because we wanted to wait and save our money for CQ. <laughs> well, yeah, I always like saving my money for CQ. Yeah. But yeah, what do you guys think of these pops? Are they cool? Are they not? Is there something that you saw from the video that we capture? And if you're in Toronto, yeah. go check it out. Go pick it up because there was a lot of people in the store mm -hmm. uh, getting some cool stuff. One thing that I was actually kind of... Not sad about that I didn't get. I don't think we got this on video. But not sad that I didn't get, but I was like, oh, you it know. It was like, eavesdropping. I was eavesdropping. <laughs> I was like, so when we went into the store, we saw uh, the Venomize, uh, not Venomize, but the Venom Blacklight, right? Like the no, Photoshop. Carnage. Carnage, I think it was, yeah. or Venom, I can't remember. But it was a Funko Shop exclusive. We saw it, it was like 50 bucks, I think, or something like that. And we were like, wow. And I was like, mm, 50 bucks. I was like, nah, I'll pass on it. Literally five minutes later, these two dudes came in and they were like, wow, there are so many pops, right? And they started looking around and they caught that Venom and they're like, oh my God, I gotta get it. And right away, they told them, hey, can I get that? Can I get that? Can I get that? And I was like, no, because we were there like, <laughs> oh my god. I know, because that pop is going more than 50 bucks right now, right? It's going up to like uh, 80, 70, something like that. And it's a really cool pop, and we can't get it here in Canada. And it's kind of hard to get it even in the States, to be honest with you. But uh, I'm not a Marvel collector. I'm not like a big that but I, I it was a cool pop i don't i wasn't sure i was gonna get it so i'm not that sad about it but it was just like a funny story how i was like maybe i'll get you and then right away there was somebody else got it. i was like oh so okay yeah. that's off the table so i hope you guys like these little blogs or like yeah i guess we could call them blogs uh we're gonna do a few more just because we like going to see cube and we'll capture our little adventure over there and we need to just take a walk outside yeah, once in a while, know. so it's good to be out. Yeah, you know, sometimes we can't be locked down for, because we've been in lockdown, like we literally stay at home because we both work from home for almost a year and a half now. And it's hard, you know, not going out. We only um, go out for groceries. We only go out for groceries and that's it, right? So sometimes you, you have to go out, like as human beings, like we're very social. And like, you know, we gotta go out. We can't stay in here, so. Even dogs need to go out, but we, won't. we got no dog. <laughs> no, but if you guys want to see a video of us adopting a dog, leave a comment down below because we're we're in the talk of okay, this video is getting out of hand. We're not talking about the dog right now, but we're talking about getting a dog. Anyways, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys for coming to this little blog type of session. Let us know if you like it, and yeah, we'll do some more. We are we're for sure gonna do some more. I hope you guys like what you saw. I hope you guys give it uh, CQ a chance and go check him out, right? He's a really nice guy. And yeah, appreciate you guys. Uh, have a good night, good evening, whatever you guys are looking at. And my name's Finata Pops. And I'm Chanel. And we'll see you guys next week.